afternoon welcome back if this is not your first time being to this uh, YouTube channel if it is your first time much appreciated hope you get benefit out of this uh, video and have a look around at some of the other videos I'm always um, open to people asking questions or ask me certain things if need if they feel the need be um, so today I'm gonna look at data frames uh, data frames are a very handy way of actually looking at data, co collating data into one big data set where you're able to slice and dice. Use a lot, um, very handy, and certain, you, certain if you're using Python, it's something you'll need to understand going forward. So, uh, what's a data frame look like? Basically, it looks like anything in um, your standard like if you had an output format of a cell it's got rows and columns so these are columns these are rows and then these values down here are just basically your index values don't have to show the index values all the time but they're handy um i have discussed index values in other videos so please have a look at those and they'll be able to explain them a bit better so what are we going to look at today uh, we're looking at creating a data frame from either a dictionary a tuple or a list so let's start off with a dictionary okay so you have the scenario where you have a set of data and you want to create a data frame and that data is in a dictionary so dictionaries two things they have keys and values the keys have to be unique if they're not unique when you use your dictionary um, it will only import and show you the data from the last key in the dictionary so as an example, let's just show you here. Let's change this to number. Okay, so now we have two keys, which are not allowed. Okay. It's because we have two keys, which are not allowed, and they have two different sets of values. So this is what it looks like before making the changes. So you have number and value, and then you have one to six, and then all their respective values. So by changing this value to number here and here, what's basically going to happen is when it creates the data frame, it's actually only going to show you the values for here. Okay. It's going to ignore these ones. And the reason being is that the logic built in the background basically says if you have two same keys, only take the second key value or the last key value in the dictionary, depending on the size of the dictionary. So if I run this, as you can see, we have number number obviously and now it's only taking the last set of values and populating it into the data frame which are all these values here okay so what i'll do is just quickly change this back rerun it the code and let's just do this so as you can see the code is rerun and the pop data items have repopulated correctly and the reason being is now that the key here of number is unique and the key here of value is unique so moving on we're going to look at using tuples so tuples are enclosing these brackets here okay just something to be mindful in this scenario while they are tuples and they have values they are actually because these square brackets around them they are actually enclosed in a list so you are actually pulling in tuples so the underlying data for this particular data frame is actually tuples but when the logic runs it recognizes actually it as a list so this in that's this scenario we have error one three 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 and error two seven 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 and there they are it's i put it in the data frame Basically, it is a list of tuples, but the class is list um, because the data type is saying the data type is list because of these square brackets. But in essence, you're actually reading in data from uh, tuples. Okay. So down here then, same type of scenario. We have a list, um, but the difference between this and the previous example is I want to more kind of show how you get the look and feel. Um, it is a list in essence because you've got tuples in it. Um, 
but the labels if you can see the count january and then february and march they actually are correspond to this so think of this as your your column headings um, and then these values here are going to be each individual row for those column headings so it's important for those column headings um, that you have one two three four data items and then the correspond to the one two three four column headings so again um, when you rerun when you run this uh, it basically brings in the data in this particular format so just wanted to thank you for coming to the uh, YouTube channel thanks for checking in and watching this video give us a big like subscribe comment let us know what you think let us know any comments or observations about the code is there anything you'd like to see else um, happy to engage with people and understand what people would like to see um, constantly updating this channel anyway I have a list of things to create going forward so subscribe as I said come back visit us and certainly looking to talk to more people in this field thank you bye